So, Magisterium AI, it's developed by a company called Longbeard. So I remember one time I asked a guy, sort of like researching this company, I said, do you work for Longbeard? I sent him that message. Uh, and he said, who's Longbeard? And I, was, I just started laughing. I'm laughing even now, just thinking of it. It was hilarious. Um, but anyhow, Magisterium AI. Magisterium AI. Magisterium AI. Magisterium AI, a powerful tool for evangelization. So without further ado, let's introduce our guest today, Magisterium AI. Let's give them a round of applause. Magisterium AI, welcome to the show. So who are you and what do you do? And they... Uh, and we might have some issues with their audio. I can't exactly hear them. Magisterium AI, can you repeat that? And nothing, but they did leave us a bit of uh, text here. They asked us, not sure where to start? You can try. So it gives us a list of options, questions, uh, things to ask this AI. Summarize, rerum novarum. That's something a college student would ask. So yeah, you can really ask it anything. It'll give you church answers from these documents. That's the only sources it's using. So yes, let's uh, ask it the hard question right off the bat. What is the church's stance on socialism? And while it's loading, this is a good moment to take a sip of water. And this is a good moment to put the glass down. So... It does take a minute to load here. Well, it's still uh, a lot faster than my brain works. So that's not a critique. The Catholic Church rejects economic and social systems that sacrifice the basic rights of individuals or prioritize profit as their ultimate goal. And you can see the footnote right there. It actually gives you the website if you were to click on that. Uh, let's go down and see what it was. So. That's from the Catechism, the compendium of the Catechism. And just uh, to spoil the other parts of this response, you can see the references. But this is very helpful because a lot of artificial intelligences, namely ChatGPT, the main one that everyone's talking about, that does not give you references. So you have no idea where it's compiling that information. But really, that's irresponsible in some sense. But let's ask it a fun question. Aliens? Question mark. So yes, let's have a little fun. Let's ask it what the Catholic teaching on artificial intelligence is. So this is kind of um, ironic. An artificial intelligence telling us about what Catholic teaching is on artificial intelligences. Um, AI has the potential to contribute positively to the future of humanity, but it must be developed and used ethically and responsibly. And it gives you some more references. If you wanted to learn more about this topic, just go to this document, Rome Cause for AI Ethics. You can read through all of this. Let's ask it to write a homily on forgiveness. And I believe I just got a message. <laughs> And it's still writing this homily. So yes, if you're a priest, a deacon, if you want to recommend this to your priest and deacon, this will be really helpful. I just got another message. Who is messaging me at this time of day? You can even give it the very boring prompt. Write a homily for... I apologize for the bad typing. For the 16th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The related questions. Uh, this one's kind of funny. Does the Catholic Church support socialism? Perhaps someone typed that in before. Uh, what are the reasons behind the church's stance on socialism? That's really a hard question. And it's really accomplishing what it's set out to do, to compile church teaching. The Catholic Magisterium. Again, there's a disclaimer on the site. It says that Magisterium AI is in beta and trained on a limited but growing number of documents. Its responses are not always perfect when in doubt consult a human. This AI is not meant to be an infallible source of information, a perfect source of information. It's supposed to be really the first step trained on a limited but growing number of documents. And I will verify that statement. I've been uh, looking, paying close attention to this AI ever since I heard about it last summer. I have been watching this company develop. They've been uploading hundreds of documents every week, really. They really launched last June, 
This is a company that has worked for the Vatican before. This AI is not uh, sponsored by the Vatican as far as I'm aware. However, it is fulfilling a useful role in the church. This is a tool that is needed. The secular world has their AIs. We need ours. And so let's all applaud Magisterium AI for accomplishing what needs to be accomplished for evangelization. I'm sure a thousand people Thousands of people could be evangelized by something like this. A lot of people are nervous, asking questions, hard questions to other Catholics, to a priest. But they are less embarrassed to simply just ask an artificial intelligence their questions. And they can at least get a good, clear, solid answer that will then lead them closer to the truth. I think it can only improve from here. They were talking about adding the church fathers to this. I'll be very interested to see that. And I will pay attention to this AI with a great keenness. Do go check out this artificial intelligence for yourself. Tell your friends about it. Share this video. Spread the message. And I believe we have time for a quick sponsorship. But before everyone tunes out, everyone just left. So it's probably me and another guy watching this. This is the Catholic Scroll. It's a new weekday newsletter that helps you learn the faith in five minutes. It's a really good idea to condense things. A lot of people don't have a lot of time on their hands, but this takes care of all that. It gives you the church fathers, Catholic news, recommended books, all of it. So do check out the Catholic Scroll. Link in the description. Enter your email and subscribe. Thanks everyone again for watching this. May God bless you all.